Now, some attractions, such as corn mazes and haunted areas, plan to operate despite the recommendation to close. Or this evening, First News reporter Jason Surjack spoke with parents and a haunted house operator about their plans for Halloween. Governor DeWine issued the guidelines for Halloween activities while staying safe during the COVID-19 outbreak. We spoke with families out at Bourbon Park this afternoon, most of whom said they are looking to have a normal Halloween while taking some precautions. We typically just go with our family and maybe with grandparents, so we'll just probably keep that the same as well. We'll just make sure that we wear a mask and um, hopefully most people will put like like buckets of candy out. Other families are looking to enjoy the usual outdoor fall activities. Corn maze is our big one that we like to go to as a family. Um, and even the businesses around here, um, they're doing a really good job. Another favorite Halloween activity are haunted houses. The governor strongly recommended that these attractions be canceled or avoided. The nightmare at the Canfield Scaregrounds still plans on opening this year. We already were working closely with our local health department and his, his recommendations for the haunted attractions are pretty much what we had online already. Meyer says his attraction will have the same feel as in past years and will keep patrons safe. We have all the normal attractions will be open where we can limit the amount of people going in and space them out as they go through it. Parents are looking forward to a normal Halloween, but are ready if things change. If they keep things the same, then we will go trick-or-treating. Um, if they change it up, we'll have to get creative. In Boardman, Jason Surjack, WKBN 27 First News.